Hi engineering janta I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we'll be discussing the roadmap to be a data analyst a lot of students wanted to know how we can become data analysts also realistically speaking it is easier to be a data analyst than to be a data scientist and for freshers it is usually recommended that if you want to enter the line of data science you must start with the data analysis fine and a lot of times you will find that data scientists are often complemented by data analysts usually the freshers who try to enter this industry of data ai they are usually given the roles of data analysts initially so it's essential that all of you know about the road map of data analyst fine how to become one and once you are acquainted with this you can choose for yourself that how you can transition to various roles alongside that all the students who are not very interested in development who are not very interested in hardcore coding for them data analyst is a boon fine hence forth for all those students this video will be very helpful as well fine i'll go ahead but before that what you should do is follow me on this instagram handle because here i can directly connect to you and here i can answer your queries so at the rate shukla ji speaks is the instagram handle you can go ahead and connect with me here it will help you a lot fine so straight away diving in deep the first thing is python look python is very very essential for any data field fine anything any data manipulation you need to do starts with python so what you need to prepare is basic syntax modules variables data types control structures loops functions recursion list etc but most importantly functions tuples sets list dictionaries these and alongside that oops concepts these are very very important because they will actually clear you a lot about how python functions how the details are passed for example there is a topic called as access specifiers fine somewhere it is also called as access modifiers fine so these play very important role when talking about object oriented programming concepts but they are very useful in data line often we need to hide some data we need to have some data hiding we need to have some abstraction all that is achieved by the concepts of object oriented programming for that you need to study it well one should dive in deep in python and study it well fine you should learn about advanced functions like maps you should learn about various libraries that are available in python fine we'll talk about them later as well but for now remember that python is the stepping stone for you moving ahead statistics and probability come next a lot of people who do data analyst courses don't realize that a lot of courses do not include anything about statistics and probability fine now for all those people who want to know that why it is essential to know these two topics these two topics lay down the foundation of data analysis as well as data science at the end of the day when you're trying to manipulate data when you're trying to get some insights from the data you need to have strong grip on statistics because you'll have to fetch out results statistically you'll have to pick out numbers from the data which are useful you'll have to pick out useful insights from the available numbers you'll have to predict how things will happen for that you need probability as well right so a strong foundation in statistics and probability start with very basics of statistics learn about both types of statistics which is descriptive statistics fine descriptive stats and the other one is inferential statistics fine both types of statistics more move to advanced statistical topics like p score fine and hypothesis testing all these topics should be studied once the statistics is covered move to probability learn about probability learn about bias distribution everything in detail once you're covered here move ahead excel proficiency that is a must thing now remember one thing you learn it from anywhere that is no restriction but 
ऑलवेज रिमेंबर द रोड मैप दैट आई एम गिविंग यू इज एक्चुअली द करेक्ट पाथ दिस विल स्टॉप द वेस्टेज ऑफ टाइम दैट माइट एंड एट योर पर्टिकुलर फील्ड फाइन इट माइट हैपन एट योर एंड इफ यू आर ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट दीज थिंग्स बाई योर सेल्फ यू माइट फाइंड अ फ्यू चैलेंजेस हेयर एंड देयर दैट इज वाई एम मेकिंग डिफिकल्ट थिंग्स सिंपल ऑफ यू दिस वुड हेल्प यू आउट यू कैन फॉलो दिस स्टेप बाई स्टेप कहीं से भी सीखो फाइन नाउ स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द वेरी बेसिक्स ऑफ एक्सेल गेट एक्सपर्टीज इन पेवर टेबल फंक्शन ऑफ एक्सेल फॉर एग्जाम्पल सम फंक्शन सम इफ फंक्शन फाइन एंड मैक्स फंक्शन देर आर ट्रंकेट फंक्शन देर आर वेरियस फंक्शन विच आर अवेलेबल इन एक्सेल यू शुड लर्न अबाउट दैम बट वन वेरी प्रैक्टिकल एडवाइस विच इज इंडस्ट्री ओरिएंटेड एडवाइस डू प्रैक्टिस इट ऑन गूगल शीट्स डू नॉट हार्ड कोर प्रैक्टिस ऑन एक्सेल डू नॉट स्ट्रेट अवे जम्प टू एक्सेल एंड स्टार्ट डूइंग थिंग्स देर नो focus more on google sheets how google sheets are operated because in most of the companies nowadays instead of excel google sheets is being used fine now hone your professional competencies look about how lookups are used v lookups x lookups alongside that learn about macros advanced functions which are available in excel once you're done with excel dive in to eda and feature engineering what is eda now it is exploratory data analysis fine so learn exploratory data analysis alongside that learn about data pre processing data cleaning not to miss one very important phenomena data warehousing fine a lot of people a lot of freshers aren't aware of this particular phenomena data warehousing learn about this why am i telling you all this because this is wholly solely and fully integrated with industry fine this whole road map that i'm giving you is actually relevant with respect to industry i'm not giving you fancy things to build some very cool projects in college no that's not my goal at the end of the day you should have some good job at your hand if you're actually preparing using this road map fine so i would be very very specific go ahead learn using this road map and try building the projects which are in line with this road map fine for example perform eda on any data set from kaggle fine download any data set from kaggle for example imdb reviews data set fine download it from kaggle perform data pre processing perform data cleaning on it acquaint yourself with feature engineering now what is feature engineering it involves various things for feature selection which features should be used how those features should be used what formulas what statistical algorithms and models should be applied all that is included in feature engineering learn about unseen patterns learn how you can figure out unseen patterns in data how you can meaningfully get some insights from those patterns once you're done here go ahead learn about databases databases are a must be it for developers be it for data engineers be it for data scientists be it for data analysts so sql can't be missed at all ddl dml dcl these are starting steps of sql move to advanced sql learn about joins but most importantly learn about sql lite this sql lite can't be learnt before learning sql fine so you have to learn sql first it is essential that you learn sql and then you move to sql lite mongo db cassandra db these are some databases get yourself acquainted with them they can act as cherry on the cake if you are putting it into your resume but sql is super important sql lite is important but this is the major chunk where you should invest maximum time once going ahead then you should go ahead on data visualization how to use the data visualization libraries of python how to use tools for example start with libraries like numpy pandas and matplotlib matplotlib is specifically used for visualizing data fine then learn bi tools after building such long foundation then you should move to power bi or tableau now these two particular uh, tools i would say they are bi tools they are business intelligence tools these particular two tools are the most used and prevalent in the market right now so you should work on them preferably i would suggest power bi and while working on power bi do hands on things create some dashboards build good projects learn how to figure out important insights from data learn about advanced concepts like dax learn about dax 
the DAX are some functions, some very powerful functions available in Power BI. Learn about it. Fine. Learn various other things about Power BI and how will you learn about them? You will simply build some good projects on it. Then you will learn about them. Fine. So that's how you learn about BI tools. And once you're done with this, you are almost a data analyst. Almost. Why am I saying almost? Because there is one thing left which is called as version control. Version control and ETL tools are very, very important. Fine. Learning about Git, Bitbucket is still important for you. Learning about ETL journey, extract, transform and load. ETL pipelines, these are still very, very important for you. And some cloud management for data should be learned by you. For example, you should learn some tools like Informatica. You should have a basic hang of it. I'm not saying for freshers, you have to learn it immensely, but have a basic hang of it. You should know what is that tool. Why? You should know basics about that tool. Why is it used? How is it used? A basic, just a basic overview. Fine. That would help you a lot, but Git or Bitbucket, whatever suits you, right? Learning about it is very, very important. Learning about version control is very, very important because that will tell you how centralized pipelines work. Fine. How everybody can contribute to one pipeline. Fine. That is very, very important. Now, before I end this video, there is one very essential thing that I wanted to tell you. All those people who are preparing for the placements, I have made free resource, which is the list of 150 questions. If you actually study those 150 questions, I can bet, I can guarantee any company in this world you go, you simply sit for their coding round and I'm damn sure I can guarantee you that you'll clear that out. Fine. If you have those 150 questions on fingernails, if you have revised them enough, I can guarantee you, you don't need to solve 200, 300, 500 problems on lead code. All you need to do is do those 150 problems, revise them. I guarantee you, you can crack any product based company. You can crack Adobe, Oracle, Mang, Fang, Ye, Wo, whatever. Fine. TCS, Wipro, Cognizant, these will become cakewalk for you. I'm not kidding. These will become cakewalk for you. And I'll show you what list am I talking about. Fine. So before we go ahead, all you need to do is you simply search out. Simple kaam karna hai, kuch nahi. 150 not out fine that's it you need to search this 150 not out and you will have this particular page on top top 150 not out questions with solutions prep and stuff fine if you open this up you can get the list of these 150 questions these are the data structures questions all those people who are preparing for any coding interviews or they are preparing for any off-campus placement or they are preparing for any coding round if you have done this list here you will have multiple questions in multiple languages. Solution is available. Fine. Alongside that, in multiple hints are given here. Fine. In here you will have multiple solutions, multiple approaches, a lot of things for you. Fine. So, and this is free of cost. So, you can practice this list one by one. If you have this 150 list covered, if you have revised it enough, I can guarantee you, you can crack any company for any development role. Now for all those people who are preparing for development, it was for them. Anybody who's for data analyst role, you simply need to do this roadmap. And now if you like this roadmap, go ahead, tell me in the comments section. That is very, very important because look, I'm giving it out for free. If I'm giving something out for free, all I need is support and motivation from your end. Fine. So if you like this, go ahead, comment below this video. If you have any queries, do ask it in comment section because top three comments might stand a chance to win Prep Insta Prime subscription for free. We have done giveaways recently, so don't lose hope. You might get it very soon. Fine. Alongside that, go ahead, follow us on all the social media handles so that you never miss any real time update from our side. And with that, I'll say one thing. If you feel somebody, your junior, your senior, your peer group needs this information, go ahead, tell them about this information. Fine. Pass this knowledge. You share the video. Great. If you, even if you don't share the video, go ahead, spread the knowledge. Video share karna ya nahi karna. Theek hai? Knowledge zaroor share karna. That is very important. Fine. Build a society where discourse, discussions are common. Fine. 
go ahead build such great society keep doing good for others without any expectation good will very soon come back to you in multiplied forms fine have a wonderful day ahead bye bye take care